Hey everybody, I'm Mark Yuztuk with AOL Travel here in San Antonio, Texas in front of the historic Alamo. Not only is this the city of San Antonio's number one tourist destination, it's the state of Texas's too. And if you want to learn more, tag along. A staggering 2.5 to 4 million people visit the Alamo every year. And while most people just think of the Alamo's famous Spanish facade, there's actually a lot more to be seen. The 4.2 acre compound also includes three museums dedicated to Texas and Alamo history. The Shrine, the Long Barrack Museum, and the Gift Museum. And best of all, entering the Alamo is absolutely free. Now about eight to 15,000 people visit the Alamo every day and there are no official guided tours, but they do have the audio tour. Now one of the cool things about these is uh, you can rent one of these wands and it contains guided tours and information that leads you to different spots around the Alamo and its grounds. Long before its bloody notoriety, the Alamo was once a peaceful mission. Later, the Spanish, rebel, and Mexican militias used it as a military stronghold until the Texas Revolution swept through the area in 1835. Then, on February 23, 1836, the Alamo took on a whole new meaning. A ragtag group of Texans led by Colonel William Travis defended the Alamo against General Antonio Lopez de Santa Ana's Mexican army and their fight for independence. Eventually, after 13 days of fighting, the Alamo fell along with most of its defenders. Now this spot here in the Alamo is one Texans especially love. It commemorates where Lieutenant Colonel William Barrett Travis drew a line in the sand with his sword. And according to the story, he told his soldiers that those prepared to give their lives in freedom's cause come over to me. Well, all the soldiers except for one crossed over, especially Jim Bowie, who was so sick on his cot, he couldn't actually walk over the line, so he had his men carry him over. How's that for a Texas legend? Now, of course, we know the famous saying, remember the Alamo, and a lot of people think that that was uttered here. Actually, it wasn't. General Sam Houston used it as a battle cry to rally his troops at San Jacinto to defeat General Santa Ana, Mexico's general who had won the battle here at the Alamo. But don't let the Alamo's bloody history deter you from visiting one of the most historical sites in Texas and the U.S. It's well worth it. Oh, and one more thing, the Alamo does not have a basement, so don't even ask.